Hello and welcome back to LIFA, another great opportunity to share great information with you. Um, I've been receiving this question a lot. Um, how can I get um, a free application um, school in Canada? Free application school in Canada. I did some research and then I came across one school. Though the application is free, it seems free, but it's not that free. Um, I'll explain into details. I think this is something that could help, especially um, high school graduates who want to um, study in Canada because this school is a college, very small school. So I will dive into that and then show you everything that you need to know. It's very affordable that you can get the chance if you try. So we'll go into it very soon. But before then, let me encourage you or let me say something to you that always read, always read. If you see the video, make sure you watch to the end to get uh, all the information. Why am I saying this? Um, if you have been following me, I made this video here that um, all you need to know before you come to Canada, um, like the my Tamil was no days before you regret coming to Canada as a visitor. Um, I think this is one of the very educated video because many people come to Canada as visitors thinking that um, the moment they get to the airport, if they walk out from the airport, they get a job to do and everything goes on smoothly like that. But that is not how it works. That is not how it works. So in this video, I explain everything. I give suggestions on some of the things that you should do if you get a visitor visa to come to Canada before even coming and then show you all the routes, the necessary things that you need to know. I think it was very educative and informative. But I got somebody who just saw this heading and then just on the social media, uh, I think Facebook, just telling me all sort of things that I'm telling lies. I nearly made him cancel his visa, but it's because he did not watch the video to the end to get the information that I'm giving. I know I give you accurate information. I give you um, like no, uh, nothing is 100% efficient. So I can say I give you 99% accuracy, accuracy of everything that I give you. But if you see the video, if you see the heading, watch it. Like this one, if I say no application fee, low tuition, you have to watch to the end and know everything that entails in it. Because um, this particular school that I'm going to talk about, um, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. They will only tell you no application fee. One thing about what I do and then the information I give you is I don't just put on the camera and then just tell you what I heard from somebody or what everybody is saying. I make sure that I read deep into it. I understand it. There are certain things um, I don't understand it. So there's no way I'm going to share it for you. There are certain things I know that, well, you don't qualify. Like people are saying, oh, you can come to Canada and work as a, um, at the farm and those things. It doesn't work that way. So I'm, I'm not doing any video on it because, so I do what you qualify, what will qualify most of uh, my audience. That is what I tell you. That's what I tell you. And then what I do, like for this one, um, I'll be talking about in a minute, I actually call the school, verify all the information. So now what I'm giving you, I know it is 100% accurate. If nothing changes, it is 100% accurate. So read, watch the video to the end, and then know what is there. If you can't watch to the end, put a question there so that like clear all doubt 
before you jump into conclusion, saying things that you don't know, things that you don't know. So well, without wasting much time, uh, let me quickly go to the school. So this is the school. This is the school. Um, the pronunciation. I don't know if I can pronounce it well. Um, Aro, Ar, Ara, Ara College, Ara College. Yeah, yeah. But we are not looking at it. But I'll put the link in the description so you'll be able to go to this website and then know everything for yourself as well. So this school, um, it has three campuses, but it is in the Northern Territory. It is in the Northern Territory. You know, Canada have provinces and, and they have some three territories. It is in the Northern Territory. They have three campuses. So you, as you could see on your screen, um, Inovic, one campus is in Inovic, and then they have one campus in Fort Smith, and then they have another one in Yellowknife. They are all in the Northern Territory. So the Northern Territory is like far north of the Canada. Most of these places um, is far from the major cities or the major towns that you know of. So most of these places you have to use a flight to get there. You can drive there. All these places you can drive there, but it's going to take you days if you are driving from, let's say, Vancouver or Edmonton, the, those are the two biggest cities that is near this um, this one. I think driving from Edmonton to Yellowknife is going to take you about roughly 16, 18 hours. Yeah, roughly 16, 18 hours. And so like, but it's not something that is you can't do. So let's look at it. So this school, I, I'm going to explain into detail. So this is the school, but um, you, they only have, I think three programs. They only have three programs for international students. And then this one is all certificate diploma. And I think one, oh, what, what is that? One, um, degree, the degree is in nursing, but those are not for international students, so I'm not going to look at, oh, let, let me go here. I just want to show you, let's explore the programs. Oh, my, my internet is slow. Okay, so these are the program, but these are not necessary for you. I think it's only three. Um, business administration is one of them, so I will just go here for you where I quickly get the information that I need. So this two years, and this is for international student. And then you could see international students apply here. So any some of the programs, this will not show, meaning it's not for international student. I think it's only three programs for international student. And then their fees is also very affordable. That is why I want to show you this. So um, the application is open. It opened yesterday and is going to close on the 18th. Um, I actually called them to verify um, most of the information they have here. Um, one thing about the application time is that if they receive more application before this time, then they are going to close the application. So though application was open yesterday, so if it in two weeks time, they've received more application, they are set up full, they are not going to take any more application. application. And then they stated here that they give priority to those in the Northern Territory, residents of the Northern Territory. Though they accept international students, but they give priority to residents in the Northern Territory. But I know you can still get a chance um, if you want to. So here is where I want you to look at programs. So these are the programs that they accept international applicants. All the other programs, they don't accept international applicants. Environmental and natural resource technology, business administration, and then office administration. The general studies, they said it is in the pipeline. Yes, I'm speaking like a Ghanaian politician. Yeah, they, they have everything set, but it has not been approved. So they've not started. So when they start, they are going to 
um, accept international student for general study. So acts of now, environment, environment and natural resources technology, business administration and an office administration, office administration. There is one program um, that talk about care. Maybe you may go there and then see, um, though you see international applicant um, for her day, but when I called, they said, no, they don't accept international applicant on that program. So I don't know if it is a mistake that they did and they put it on their website or something. So if you want to do, because you may go to the website and you will see that they accept international applicant, you may reach out to them to verify for yourself as well. But that is what I did. So these are some of the things that you need to know as an international applicant. You need your transcript evaluated. You need your transcript evaluated by any of this institution, International Qualification Associ Assessment Service, International Qual Qualification Assessment Service, or World Education Service, which is popular. Most people know World Education Service. So you have to uh, assess your transcript over here. They need to translate it into the Canadian um, like standard. If this is not done, your application will be rejected. So don't send your raw transcript to them. Don't send your raw transcript to them. You make sure that you evaluate your transcript. Um, I don't know how much waste is taking for this one, because but um, I think these people are taking hundred dollars for the evaluation and then if they need to ship to you outside Canada, it's $75. You can check that for yourself. I don't know how much Wes is charging for now, but Wes usually charge for, I think, 270 but that is for, like, graduate and those stuff. So I don't know how this one they are going to look at. And then you have to do all this one, letter of interest, reference letter. And then... Their fees, um, let me see if I could get, yeah, their tuition is very affordable. Okay, so let's see over here, their tuition for international student. So this is where, um, so yeah, this is their tuition, 720 per Fall term of first semester, um, first year. That is what it means. So that is the one semester for of the first year, but it's not for the whole year. It's for one semester. So all this that you see, it's for one semester. So just multiply it by two. If your program is one year, multiply it by two. I think it's actually five forty. The environmental technology that is what um, that one is the seven. 7200 that one is the 7200 so you have to look at all these um student fees student fees is just hundred dollars per term so if you are doing one year you just pay two hundred dollars um i'm looking at so student fee is very simple but this is tuition and student fee you have to get an accommodation if you are applying they will ask you to apply for they have student accommodation but what I was told is that that is reserved for the resident, though international applicant could get accommodation at the student residency, but it's not something that is guaranteed. So this is just your tuition. Student fees is not anything difficult. They do not say anything about your health insurance. So I don't know how northern territory their system health system work their health insurance system work but as an international student you're required to get um a health insurance so you have to think of that as another fee and then your feeding so accommodation and feeding and then maybe your health insurance that is not part of this this is just tuition student fees is very minimal hundred dollars per term and then i think so yeah, other small, small fees over here. Let's look at this. Okay, so, yeah. 
I'm trying to look at something, a deposit that you need to make. Um, and then I think that one, I don't know where, where to find that. Yeah, so if I'll put the link here and then you could go there and then see so many things. You have to make a deposit of $500. I wanted to see and then show show that to you a deposit of five hundred dollars that is um after you've sent in your application they are going to look at it that's how the process work um it is somewhere hidden here um if you look through you'll find it but after you make you send all your documents you send in your application you do it online you send in all your documents the admission office are going to see if you have all your documents ready, like everything is submitted, then they will forward it to the program head. So the program head decide whether you've been admitted, like they will admit you or not. So if the program head says yes, we, we will admit, we send it back to the admission, then admission will write to you, and then that is where you pay your $500. That is where you pay your five hundred dollars. If you send your application within four days, you get a response that your application has been received. And then um, they couldn't give me the actual time they will use to process it, but it says depending on the number of application they receive, but they work on it as it comes. And then if the admission sees that everything is okay, they forward it to the program head. If program head sees that well. You meet all the qualifications, you qualify to study there. They like say yes, approve, send it back to admission, admission write to you, and then you pay five hundred dollars to get your acceptance letter. They will say the five hundred dollar is to secure your seat, but it's not refundable. That five hundred dollar is not refundable. So what I was told is that that is all part of the application process. So though you don't pay any fee as application fee, but you pay $500, which is not refundable for your acceptance letter. And then they didn't state any where, and then actually I did not, I forgot to ask if that $500 will be used as part of your, um, your tuition fee, I forgot to ask, but um, I think the answer will be no. Well, what I asked was, will you, will the $500 be refunded if in case your visa is refused or because of something you couldn't come? I said no, that is part of the application process. So that one will not be refunded. So I don't think it goes against the tuition fee. And then one thing too is um, they don't have any um funding they don't have any scholarship i've seen some people saying they have 80 percent scholarship and the rest they don't have any scholarship you can get external funding or external scholarship but the school does not provide any form of scholarship and then you pay your fees um i think that one you said no but i think it is something that could be negotiable with the school after you've been admitted that you need to pay all your full fees and then you start you pay they don't have any payment plan yeah because i was talking to the admission office but i know that is something that could be if you're admitted and you come there you don't have the fee in book it is something that you can talk with them and i know that they are humans so they will understand you so that is it that is it this is very important things for you to know it's it's free application but you pay 500 dollars after everything goes through the fee is also affordable compared to other schools most of the programs are one year two year and then they are diploma all the programs if you look at it all the programs for the international applicants are diploma program they don't have any degree so this could be a place to start a step a starter for you because they have the postgraduate work permit as well they have the postgraduate work permit so after you've graduated you have a year or two 
depending on um, how immigration sees it, to work. And then within that time, you have the opportunity to do other things that will help you get a permanent residence or continue as a worker here to get your stay here. So if you have been trying some of these big schools and then you are not getting through, um, this is one of the easiest way that you can go through you can go through it doesn't matter how long you've completed your shs i wouldn't advise that if you have a degree you come and take some of these diploma calls i'm not saying you can't do that you can do that but i say i wouldn't advise because that one if during your immigration your visa application if you are not able to defend yourself well you could be refused visa you could be refused visa so that is something that i wouldn't advise but you can try it but if you are an shs graduate even mature student then all that you need to do is during your visa application you have to put in strong support and then everything so this is where i'm going to end this video if you have any question on this do not hesitate to ask me if it is something you need me to ask them um I could just call them and ask them. I'll let you know. This is not anything, um, any big deal. I'm dedicated to help you with all the necessary information. One thing you should know too is um, get to know about the area, the school that you are going, the campus that you are choosing. Find out because or not all the programs are done at. I have to verify this because I don't actually look at it, but. I know maybe they may not be at the same campus so know the town you want to go and choose that campus just know the area if you'll be able to get some mini job doing whilst you are there so thank you for staying to the end of this video if all that i'm doing is very helpful and it's helping you please do well to share for others if you have not subscribed please do well to subscribe um the subscribers already please like the video and share for me um, this is how um, YouTube is going to spread it for many people. So if you appreciate everything that I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share to your friends, let them know. This is affordable. Um, I also have made research, um, I'm working on it, on some of the big schools that don't have application fee. But so far, what I've found is there are some schools that do not take application fee, but it's not for all courses. It's for specific courses and mostly for the um, masters, for the masters, most, some of them. So if I finalize that, I'll bring that out for you to also know. But one disadvantage of applying to a school without application fee is that a lot of people are applying to that school as well because it's free. So the competition becomes very high. So what you can do to beat this is you apply early. You apply early because if they see the application is coming in too much, they may have a cutoff point that if you receive such number of applicants, we are not receiving any more. Though your application will go through, but they may not look at it. They may not look at it. So you apply early and then know that the competition too is high because it's free everybody is applying but this one is not actually free because remember you have that 500 dollars that you have to pay so this is something you have to decide for yourself have to decide for yourself don't be like that guy who just read the um, title and then concluded that i'm telling lies so watch the video and then everybody you send to tell the person to watch it and know everything so thank you thank you very much see you next time with another awesome video thank you bye